Huh? It's Labor Day. It's a day for us to take off because the we labors. don't take off days. Yeah. I saw somebody's post <clears throat> today and they were like, I think it was my friend Ricky Delagarza. He said, I know, I know so many people out there that haven't worked in six months. Listen to this. I was thinking about this. This is my ADD kicking in. Mm -hmm. It's been six months for when Corona hit. That's bananas. And everybody's like, oh, it's going to go away in, in, a, in a week or two, or maybe it'll be a month or two. I thought it wouldn't be as long as it did. And if they would have just stayed closed and stayed inside, it probably would have all been eliminated just a little bit, just a little bit more than it is. <laughs> no, but he was saying, what's up? He was saying, I know some, some of y'all haven't been working six months and you're out today. Like, <laughs> he'd been working for six months. Like he needed that break. Yeah. We never took off. Oh, we worked super hard today, too. Art by Emma Kate. I'm back. I missed you guys. Hey, Emma. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> All right. So, how's everybody's Labor Day? Did everybody labor today, or did they take off Labor Day? All right. Did anybody labor? We labored. We did that yesterday. What? The hospital spit me out. Oh. Susan Campbell just poured a river table. Jenny I want to do a river table. I believe it will end November. Day off. Went to HEB and back home. Booger Shea says worked very hard at not working. Bug. She said she couldn't come back during this visit, but she'll let us know when she comes down Here's again. Jerry. To pour with me. Lynette Grundy, morning from Australia. Love your work, guys. Thank you. catching up on YouTube. Well, that's good. Everybody has a day off today, so that's good. Cheers to all, uh, everybody. We did a day, day off. off. Okay, well. So, yeah. All right. Well, as you can see on the title, she's going to show you where to put glitter that you don't want it to go. No. She's going to show you how to put glitter somewhere where you know. She's gonna put glitter and show you how not to make it go somewhere. Right? That, yep. Did I say it all the way around it? But not? <laughs> and if you guys haven't seen it, I'm probably gonna say this for about a week. Um, we got a new intro and we were wondering why we haven't been monetized on past videos that we've had this on is because the guy that made it Saul Paul copyright music we need a new song so here's our intro with no song yeah no. should I color this border before I put why is that so blown out? Because um, I'm over here. What? I'm sure they're no, it's here not. Here. I don't understand. I literally just configured it. I think it's because whenever I say apply, it it doesn't apply. So I'm just going to say okay, okay, and then I'm just going to leave it. So what now? 
How much, how much is that? How much resin is that? I asked you how many ounces. You said 16. It is 16. Wow. Yeah, I've got a board that's perhaps similar that I can pull on. So I'm wondering, A, what glitter I should use, and B... Hold on, I will put your... Uh, that camera is on the glitter, so if you want to turn it... You can turn it. And so that the peoples can see what glitter. So did you hear my question? Um, yes and no. Do I need to repeat myself? Yes and no. You can't have both. <laughs> So repeat yourself. If I use one of the blue glitter, should I spray the rim with the color? Yeah, you don't want you don't want to, if you can use blue, I would I would spray it like a light blue um, or dark one of the dark blues. Next question is which one should I use? I've got the fire and ice aren't on the website yet, but they'll be up tomorrow. I have the Mermaid Scales. Both of these are transparent glitters. For some reason, it's blurry. There it goes. You have to be still with it. And then I have this one that is already on the website. It's the Turquoise Sea Chameleon, so it goes from... Am I on overhead as well? No, but I'll put it on overhead. I don't know why. So it goes from purple to blue and green. Do, hold, you gotta do it. Just do it kind of slow. There you go. Yeah. Well, you can kind of see it. There it goes. But It's really evident in person. You Hello can't really see Germany. it. Hello from Germany. Hello, Chloe. From where you guys are because... Chloe or Chloe? Of the overhead lighting. So, which one do you think I should use? I'm leaning towards this one. But I wanted y'all's thoughts. And if you didn't see how we did the rest of this piece, check out a yesterday's video. Manual in Austin says E, all the above. Mm -hmm. Turquoise, mermaid, turquoise, dark glitter, darker one. Is it for the frame? Yes. Yeah, it's for this outside area. Explain what we've done to that. This is not a new board. <laughs> so, this is the one we did yesterday. And since yesterday, we just edged up the seaweed coral that we did in gold leaf. And we taped off the edges to protect the moat that we made black. And to protect it from any glitter spray or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is, so it sounds like none of you guys are for this one. So we're gonna spray it a turquoise color so that you can't really see the breaks in glitter. And after that, we're gonna use a spray adhesive, put the glitter on it and cover the whole thing in resin. So get your boats in. You have till I'm done spray painting it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the spray paint. So y'all vote. Why are you upside down, girl cat? She's weird. What a weirdo. You really can't see it. Like so far a Like your camera is like 20 feet above the thing, but at the same exactly, time, exactly it has good. to be because that board's so dang big. Yeah, no. The A's win. Every single person said A. All right, we'll go with A now. Let's see
you know, side view of it. I do like B though. B looks nice. Just don't pick that A up and just turn it like this at the camera and see. Yeah, then you can kind of see it kind of flip-flop. It kind of turns into that other one. Yeah. Sounds like you guys voted for A. Cool, I would have picked that one as well. So I'm going to spray paint it with No Girl Cat. Uh, seaside. It's a gloss spray paint from rust -Oleum. And we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Even though we taped this off, I'm still nervous about some of it getting into this gully. So I'm going to put a little bit more paper. This is where I'm spray painting. right there where it was kind of lifted. Alright. It's going to be blurry because there's nothing down there, so just bear with us there. So when using spray paint, it's use all the proper PPE. Which one are you on that's blurry? <gasps> Which one? There. I'm on both of them. Okay. So wear a respirator if you feel like you need. Be in a well-ventilated space. I think it's because the uh, that, that wax paper is shiny, so then it just, it really like. I think I kind of like it dusted. What do you think? Should I just full coverage it? Well, just know that it'll be uh, you know how glitter looks when there's white background. So. Alright. That is true. So you're correct. I wasn't thinking about that. So we will solidify it. Solidify it. Very technical term. Mm -hmm. And while I'm here, I'm just going to do these edges. Bowie's going to be a daddy? No. Bowie will never be a daddy. <laughs> no. What why would why would you wonder that? It made me think about Cujo's situation. Cujo had an encounter. Carol, you can we, we get it off Amazon. The the uh, the liquid gold. It should be listed in the uh, description below the video, in the description box. Yeah, if you click our Amazon link, we'll take you where we have everything listed for you guys. Amazon does not have it right now. You can get it from Blick. Huh? I sell 20 mil bottles of it. She sell, we sell the 20 mil bottles, little separate little bottles of gold. What color are you spraying right now? This is Seaside Gloss from Rustoleum. I 
can only pick the color that is gloss. While he's doing that, I'm mixing up some resin. This is Art Coat by Steel Coat Countertops. You can get it from our website, artiststilldeath.com, or you can get it from Stone Coat. If you go through Stone Coat, use our code YALL, Y-A-L-L, for a discount. I'm gonna need this to dry a little bit. Then again, what would happen if I just sprayed some spray adhesive on wet spray paint? still up. Nope. Well, no. It's okay. We're dry. There we go. <laughs> no. Uh, he, uh, we, we tell him he didn't have to come in today. It's Labor Day. Why would I make someone start working on Labor Day? All right, next up is the spray adhesive. I went ahead and showed this, but no, before we start it. This is Scotch Super 77. It's super sticky. And the spray nozzle, it's like a calligraphy nozzle. Isn't this one the one that does that? Like it, it's a wide spray instead of a circle spray. So we're gonna dust that over all the way around. And then we're going to add the glitter all the way around and hopefully it'll be awesome. Alright. We're going to let this set for a minute. Before we add the glitter. <clears throat> Give it time to get tacky. Which doesn't take long, it's just a moment. One extra moment. I'm gonna use a heat gun just to speed up the moment. Yep, moment check. But. It was supposed to be made with a wing. I was supposed to make somebody's name with a wing. What are you talking about? Somebody on here that says, "Hey Jeff, did you did you ever find the name I asked to make of my mom's name? E L B I A. It was supposed to be made with a wing or like a wing. I I don't know. She's looking it up right now. I don't know where that would be. I apologize if we overlooked that." 
think that was like when I first started doing that. That was like six months ago. I don't know. I apologize. Fun. So, if you could text me your shipping address, I'll send that out first thing manana. Manana. You can't see anything that you write on there. That's fine. All right. Let's get our glitter on. This is available on our website. It is turquoise sea chameleon. You'll be able to see the color shift in the true color video. Our camera has a heartbeat. Huh? The camera angle has a heartbeat. get most coverage before just dumping it on there. I don't have to open another pack. No, uh, it was just it was like it, it could it could focus whatever she wrote on there and then it couldn't and then it can and then like now the glitter's making it like a heartbeat. That is hilarious. I'm not a fan of that. That's so crazy. Let me I'm not see a fan of my can, glitter? No, the, the heartbeat. It's literally like a heartbeat. I'm just going to take it off autofocus. So now I'm kind of like rubbing it into canvas just to get all the sticky covered. Adding a little bit extra in the areas where it's kind of light. But some bits are going to be piled up, so if you just run your finger along, you'll push the glitter into areas. Put where something it's... in the middle of that because it's like completely like having a conniption fit over here. People are getting dizzy. Did y'all have a great Jesus. Labor Day? We worked, so it wasn't so much a vacation. a spray adhesive because it will get everywhere. So now I'm going to knock off
And it's time to remove the tape. Mommy, 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 I'm in a trip. It's so funny, Lisa. The other day, our news guy, our weather guy, was was announcing our weather, and then he put up Denver's weather, and he's like, "Don't worry, everybody. This isn't our weather. This is Denver or Colorado's. Where I don't. I know it was somewhere in Colorado." <laughs> Denver. It was like, this is what's going to happen in Colorado. Like, drop down to 30s and 40s. <laughs> like, holy cow. But it works so well. I'm just using the air to blow off any excess glitters. It's going to get everywhere. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That was very nice. It looks so good. See, it wouldn't have looked, if you'd have left that white, it would have been very. Yeah, it would have been splotchy for yeah. sure. And I think that the border being blue indicates the ocean. Ask about it without covering it in blue paint mm -hmm. or blue resin. The oceanity. Pro tip, if you do what I just did, move your resin away from the splash zone so um, you don't get anything in it. Lori says, what kind of foil is that? So that is variegated gold leaf, which is a fancy term for, I'm pretty sure that they burned it. You know what I'm going to do. Huh? Real quick. What, what happened? What, what do we want to make? What, stingray? <laughs> Alright, so now we have the glitter just where we want it on this edge. And everything's clear in the center. So now we're going to add our resin. This is Stone Coat Art Coat. I mixed it up right before we went live. I was actually stirring it as Jeff hit uh, the stream. So it hasn't been setting up for long, but Art Coat you can have setting up for ever. And not have to worry about it setting up too soon on you. And by forever, I mean not literally forever, but like hours. Ah, uh, piece of glitter got in here and I've been trying to fish it out. It's ruining my whole have glitter go where you want it and not where you don't want it type of that. Okay, miss, lay down. Okay. So we sealed this in the last video with a UV archival spray so that we don't have to worry about the resin reactivating or fading any of our alcohol inks. In my head, Bowie goes to check on Kujo when he does that. So for this piece, I don't care if resin gets in our moat. So I'm pushing the resin all the way up to and over our moat. Because I'm gonna be sealing in all that glitter with resin as well. Ooh, I don't, that's gonna look funky, right? Like you're gonna have to do like two or three layers of resin. No, I don't. I don't care if it has texture to it. It's all oh. seaweedy. Okay. I 
keep thinking I've picked up this glitter and it's still on my glove, so it keeps like putting itself back in the piece. So since I keep redistributing this glitter, I'm just going to do the whole piece and then pick up the glitter. get too close to the edge. I would just wait. Like you have a lot in there. Just don't get it out yet. Just wait and then when you heat it with the heat then Yeah. Because there's it's gonna continue to get in there. Alright, we've got our coverage. Yes, Swamper. Uh, the dog is okay. <laughs> He, uh, he's, uh, he does that. He, he's, he's got a little heart condition that, uh, we can't, we, we try to do as much as we can with medication. And sometimes he, he does it just to get our attention. He's fine. He's just... It's about time for his next round of meds, though. So. He's like doing it back here and then looking at me. Now he's running out. Okay. He's probably going to the carpet. does a good job uh, consoling him when he has one of his little cough attacks. It's usually just when his heart rate gets high. Now ah! Bowie's jealous. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to switch gloves because I know that those gloves are swamped with Everybody says it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I'm pretty this painting is about out of piece. sight. It looks so cool cheesy. with resin over it. Huh? So it looks so cool with resin over it. Resin makes everything look better. That's an actual science fact, I'm pretty sure. If you could um, wipe these off. Yeah. I already took my gloves off, so I'm not stinky. But I'll still wipe them off. I'm just saying because you left two paintbrushes with glue on them. Probably. I'm pretty sure you were the last one to use them. I gave it to you and I said, we please clean it off? I don't remember that. <laughs> you have a rag handy? So now I'm just picking out these floaters that shouldn't be here, but I got a little bit too excited when I was moving the resin about and hit the so edge. Said, Can you please give Puppy his meds? We'll wait. I 
absolutely. I'll do that. It's, this part of the video won't be too much longer. And it's actually a little bit of an ordeal to get Cujo. Yeah, it's not notes. like you just give it to him and then it goes away. Cujo, um, he's always been a picky eater. And I have to give it to him with a lot of food. And so getting him to eat some days is kind of difficult. That belongs in a gallery. Oh, thank you. We'll actually live in a little girl's room. The seaweed looks really cool with the resin over it. I agree. So because of his heart condition, he has to take um, low sodium food because that cough is from fluid on his lungs because of his heart condition. And um, so he's even more picky now than he's ever been. So I have to try out a whole bunch of different kinds of foods to get him to eat. And it usually takes 30 to 45 minutes to feed him as much food as he needs to take the amount of meds that he needs. But I appreciate you guys. Sandra says, um, change of plans to eat. I now am definitely as the as the five year old girl this was commissioned for. Oh, identify as the five year old. Oh, okay. Kindly ship it to the same address as my previous order. Yes, ma'am. Put meds in a peanut butter. Put meds in bacon. Cujo can't have bacon. It's too much salt content because it's cured. And he doesn't like peanut butter. There's days where he won't eat cheese or raw steak even. It's crazy. The overhead camera, like, because it's flat, the it looks like your the frame is just a bunch of random... Glitter. It doesn't look covered. Well, no, it just it just blends in with the table, so it's like it just looks like it's just on it and then out. Like, oh, I see what you're saying. yeah. If there was like a piece, a new piece of paper, you would see the line. I have glitter in my wine. A little bit of glitter didn't hurt nobody. I'm just filling in these low spots in the frame area. Because I have some extra resin B. This is the perfect amount for this piece, by the way. Oh, awesome. Tara, thank you very much. Thanks, Tara. TZ says, Erica, your art is outstanding. What's up, TZ? Thank you so much. anybody has a 67 Lincoln Continental um, they want to get rid of here hold on let me tell you Jeff there. wants to take care of it for you if anybody has a 1967 Lincoln Continental did you change that so they could see your face yes like, okay. to show you how serious I am mm. my 50th birthday was just two weeks ago so mm. if you want to gift it Carol, I'll put that towards Lincoln. Thank you very much. 
That is my dream car. But I do need a garage to put it in, so. Um, but I'll put it in my parking space. Out back. <laughs> So fresh and so clean. Yes. Thank you, Catherine. Yes. Oh, that was so amazing. This Thank is you. amazing piece, y'all. Thank you very much, Betty. What's up? So because I prime my board so smooth. I find that I have an issue with the resin sticking on my edges. That's something I have to babysit when I do an outwalling piece. Which is the same reason why we don't recommend using gloss spray paint when you put resin down. So what I'm doing now is shifting the resin that's in this gully around to this side to try to fill it up gully. a little bit. Gully, moat, I don't know any other words. A matchbox version. <laughs> I'm just using a coffee stirrer to redistribute. Carol says, I know you're not an alcohol ink person, but I am, and I appreciate what you do, and I'm addicted to this channel. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank you very much. I actually love working with alcohol inks. It's just times where I feel like it doesn't like working with me because I try to make it do resin things instead of alcohol ink things. Are you just putting more glitter up there. Shut it. You shut up. You know what David says? 13,000. Wow. Yeah, I love the uh, the town cars. Those are nice. Jeff, is that black border a cutout or painted on? Uh, Manual, what that is, is that's one of our cradle boards with the frame around it. And it's it's uh, routed out so it's probably about mm, yay deep um, it's enough to where you can put an LED wire on the inside of it and make it glow which I have yet to do with one of those we did it to prints it was not an LED wire those are just little lights oh. and so and and we made it that way so that you can tape off the frame and pour your resin and not have to worry about it getting all over and, and having cleanup on the sides there of, of the middle. And then you can just paint your frame whatever you like. You know, you can put resin on if you like or you can just paint it and leave it or decorate it or whatever you want. This is the first time I've done a full flood including the frame and the gully. In storage for 45 years so it was in good condition do you find somebody that has one uh yes the uh teresa the the one that i want the one that i want is uh, like i said 67 i love the 63s 64s but i'm not a fan of uh of the front or the rear that like your fenders are square and then the front of it is kind of rounded. I'm not I'm not a fan of how weird that looks. On the 67 it's more square in the front end and everything is cohesive. And yes, they do have the suicide doors. Mm, that was going to be my next question. I'm going to end up having to flood this. It's pulling from the sides already. What is? Resin. Pulling from the side of what? Yeah, of your I frame? Alcohol inks. I just sand it too smooth and it doesn't want to stick to the edges. Uh. No. That's okay. Flood coat never hurt nobody. I'm 
so digging this piece. In case you didn't notice. So check these out, y'all. I'll show you as she is cleaning up glitter on there. What do I got? Do I have... No. No. A Lucy can. We'll, uh, we'll get her in this shot. So you can still see what's going on. But I made a couple hats today. I used the rose gold. And I made a new little, if you could see his little mustache. Look at his little mustache. Can you see his little mustache? We call him Mr. Mustache, or Winston for short. I think I'm gonna drop the crossbones down a little bit because I think that his mustache makes it look like his teeth. <laughs> so I'll probably drop that down And uh, so you can see just a little bit of the teeth. Yeah, the rose gold and black look awesome. But these are each 25 if anybody's interested. Y'all ever do a commission piece and then think... 25 plus shipping. I'll do her another one. <laughs> right. where I'm at with this guy. I love him. His name is... Virgil. Oh, I was going to go Stanley. Oh, yeah. we got to have the same S. Yeah. I was going to go Stanley, Stanley the, the Seahorse. Who is also on The Office. Or Cedric the Seahorse. I know it's a C, but it's still phonetically, harmonically... Hypothetically. <laughs> Some edically. Yeah. <laughs> Simon. Um. Cecil. <gasps> Cecil the seahorse. <laughs> I think that's also a I, C. I think that's a C as well, but you can... However... You can... It's a C because C... I know. That's what I was saying earlier. Hey, you guys. Um... What do you think a, God, that looks so good. What do you think a pirate's favorite letter is? I'll wait. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll wait. It's funny because Sandra, you'd think it was the R, but it's actually the C. Dumb. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Tina. I'm kind of funny every now and again. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Tip your waitresses and your bartenders. <laughs> dad jokes for days. I don't even I don't even know any dad jokes. Do I have any dad jokes? I don't even think I have any dad jokes. Yeah. How much is the polar bear weigh? Oh yeah, I don't know about all that. Whoa. Look at this, y'all. You can have the camera back. That's the uh, fantasy the fairy, fairy wood. wood. It's so hard. Like, it's, it's difficult to see any kind of reflection because of the the light over above. 
Like anytime you tilt it, the light shines and then the gold disappears and all the sparkles gone. Chime bread like a diamond. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. That is some solid. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Is. That was a quick one. Quickie for Labor Day. So Not that you need to, but are you doing anything else to it? Tara, I mentioned earlier today, um, look at these knot holes in here. These look great. Um, when it dries, I think she should put little Sorovsky crystals from from his mouth kind of just sporadically just to give it a little more texture a little more bling a little more pizzazz little hints of of, of blingy bling I concur I can like it let's see if you can see this this is dang light over a head. Dad gummit. It's so bright. Do you want me to use um a thing? I think it's just too that we brought a flashlight so we can see the bling and it just floods it. <laughs> it's too much. Like, it just blows everything out. Like, I wish you can just really see the sparkle in it. Ah! Oh, I got a sparkle right there. <laughs> One little, there's some gold. Yeah, like in person it looks so crazy different. Look at that. That looks so fun. Night tea. Yeah, he's gonna get his meds. What he actually wants is for me to get off the live feed and take him out. It's true. It's all the way true. B, you saved this piece. It wouldn't look near as amazing except for how? Because you were like, I think it. I honestly like, think that it word. it would have done it no. if you just kept making the lines and then heat it and then it settles and that's what it. That's or what it does. you could have inspired me to do a swipey swipe and it could look awesome. Swipey swipe. Then it did. I'm so glad, Miss Brody. And T, I'll um, follow up on where your FedEx like you? lost her fire sale package. Oh my gosh. But it's insured and I told her I would take care of her. <sighs> FedEx. We've been having issues, y'all. All right, B. Say the adioses. Adios. Arrivederci. Avida Zane. Avida Zane. Uh, See ciao. you later. Ciao. Aloha. Sayonara. Sayonara. Bless. Have a happy Labor Day. You, you're still able to chill on your couch or your pool or wherever you, wherever you are enjoying your labor day everybody have an awesome monday tomorrow's tuesday so therefore it will be a two o'clock tuesday we may have a date night tomorrow so straight two o'clock yeah we go live tomorrow at 2 p.m 
Eastern Standard Time. No, Central Standard Time. So we're in the middle. Oh, he's so pretty though. Be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. And we will see you tomorrow. Two o'clock. Tuesday. Bye. I said bye. Yes, Moose, I know. Look, I know. Are you